tutti ragazzi e benvenuti a un nuovo episodio di Dead Synchronicity Dunque l'ultima volta avevamo parlato col tipo del giornale E ci ha dato la mappa del sistema fognario Quindi dobbiamo andare lì e dobbiamo andare a fare pure la foto per il cacciatore se vi ricordate Quindi andrei prima a fare quella a questo punto um, Si passava dal parco Sì E dove andiamo poi nelle fogne? Non so da dove devo fare le foto, no, forse devo fare la foto da qua sopra. Deposito con barili, ok. Quindi fai la foto, deposito con barili. Ho un'altra visione del hospital compound e del fuel depot da qui. Shame the camera non ha alcun film in it. Uh, non ho la pellicola, porca vacca, pensavo di sì. Easy to use, shame it doesn't have... Non c'è la pellicola. Eh vabbè, allora andremo prima nelle fogne che dobbiamo fare. Ok, vai. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna climb and it would be crazy to go. Ma dai, ma ce l'hai la fonte di luce, madonna, te lo devo dire io di usarla. Ah, che palle. Here goes. I'll use the map Chris gave me as a guide. These tunnels are a real labyrinth. E vediamo se becchiamo Sara. This is the place marked on the map, the place where Sarah and her confidential source were found. Allora, bossole. Quindi c'è stata una sparatoria. Like e sono d'accordo. Non li vuoi prendere, sicuro? No, vabbè. Grata di aria. C'è un familiare sound che viene dai depths del tunnel behind this great. È un subway train. I don't get it. If they boarded up the subway stops and shut down the subway service, what the devil are those trains carrying? And where are they going? Dove staranno andando? Oggetto nell'acqua. Trying to stay afloat in the stinking sludge of the sewer. From here, it looks like a castaway waving for help. It's of no use. I'm afraid that there's not much I can do for it now. Una scarpa, quindi potrebbe essere di Sara. First, I need a proper hook for this fishing rod. Even so, I don't quite see why I'd want that shoe. Perché la metro funziona? This is where that river of filthy water ends. It's funny. Despite the nauseating stench it gives off, there's something hypnotic about that viscous green waterfall. Beh, anche schifo però. Vabbè, vai da qua. Ah, siamo dall'altro lato di dove vediamo di solito, mi sa. I've been able to remove some of the waste, but I won't be able to remove the rest of it with my hands. This stuff is too snarled up. È troppo argrovigliata. E boh, prova così, eh? All right. Let's see what the devil's so tangled up in here. Piede di porco è sempre la soluzione. My God! Sarah! A bullet's torn off her jaw. But her face is still recognizable. Quindi ci siamo giocati pure Sara? Poverina. Cadaveri di Sara. Un bullet hit her in the jaw. E another went through part of her neck. There's no doubt that Sara bled to death while using the last of her strength trying to drag herself out of here. A flash drive. It's sticking out of the corpse's clenched fist. Sara is holding on to it for dear life. Even in death. Eh, la devo prendere, mi spiace Sara. Allora, cadaveri di Sara, c'è altro? Sbarre no. E niente. Pensavo che Sara era sopravvissuta, invece. Ma dobbiamo dare la buona notizia a questo. Oddio, non mi ricordo dove stava il tipo. È di qua, mi sa. Um, Chris, devo dirti una cosa. Hello, Chris. Michael, you're back already? Tell me, did you find Sarah? Did you bring the report she went out to get? I brought the report. Here it is. 
Oh, that's great news. I knew you could do it. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have guessed. I was expecting a paper dossier, not an electronic document. We have a serious problem, Michael. Problem? What's wrong? We're not in the old world anymore. And access to electricity is a privilege very few people have nowadays. Now, the good news is that I was able to save my old laptop from the great wave. The bad news is that we don't have anywhere to plug it in. What can we do? If we want to find out the secrets in this report, we need electricity. Bring me a generator with enough fuel, and we'll find all the answers we need, Michael. But tell me, please, did you find Sarah? Yes, yeah. Why didn't she come back with you? What happened? Um, quindi il generatore ci resta dove stanno quelli che tengono prigioniera Rose. Non temere Chris, ho trovato un mucchio di indizi che suggeriscono come Sara si sono a salva. No, perché devo mentire a suo uomo? Mi spiace Chris, che sorry, Sara Chris. è morta. Sara è morta. God. But what? It looks like she and your confidential source were ambushed and shot by soldiers in the sewers. I found Sara's body in one of the graded tunnels near the refugee camp. I took the report out of her hands. But I had to leave her there. Oh, my poor Sarah. She... she didn't deserve that. Please, Michael, don't leave her body to rot in the sewers. I beg of you. Do it for me. For Sarah. For Emily. I'll do what I can, Chris. I promise sì, you. Vabbè, now, come get me that electric generator. Time is running out. <laughs> Bellissima, ha appena detto è morta la moglie. Ah, vabbè, pia. poi, vabbè, portami il, generato il generatore. Come vedi, sti cazzi, una certa. What do we have here? As one would expect, there are only old magazines, stacks of paper and outdated Dai, dimmi che c'è una pellicola. Here. No, wait a minute. It looks like there's oh. also film for instant cameras here. Ottimo. Ok, quindi puoi mettere questa qui. Perfect. Now I can load the camera. Ah. Oh. The tab that closes the film compartment is broken. I can't Ma use it like this. I need something to hold it in place, or else the film will keep falling out. Dente. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> the tooth fragment fits perfectly into the slot <laughs> for the broken tab. Hey, now I can close the film compartment. Che culo, eh? Va bene. Quindi, Ciccio, mi dispiace, Hello, ma devo andare. Michael. No, I... If we want to bring it, I'll do it. Questo interessa solo l'elettricità da moglie, più o meno. Before leaving his house, I shoot a furtive glance at Chris. He's gazing in Sarah's photo in silence, completely lost in thought. Maybe I should have lied about what happened to her. Told him that she got away, leaving the report behind. No, no, she's she's and, sound, and just waiting for the right moment to come back. The truth is a poisonous inheritance from the old world. What good does it do to know it if it snatches away your last hope? Invece vivere nella menzogna è meglio, no Michael, non sono d'accordo. Comunque, no, ho sbagliato. No, fa sta foto, va. Allora, fotocamera istantanea. Okay. Deposito con barile. Here goes. Damn it. It came out too dark and the flash doesn't help much. You can hardly make out the depot. The photo is useless like this. I need more light. Ho bisogno di più luce. This camera already has a built-in flash. E quindi Let's see what this room actually is with a little light. Eh, io volevo fare la luce col flash, giustamente c'era un modo più pratico. <ride> Pannello di controllo. Right. I'll flip the switch for the only circuit that's not blown. Hmm. I think I hear the buzz of electricity coming from the surface. Oh, così ho più luce? Dimmi di sì. Oh, adesso si vede. 
Let's take a look. Perfect. Che bello finalmente. Quindi, mo, Ciccio, io ti do questo, ma tu in cambio mi devi aiutare. Devo parlare con ragazzina. Allora, qui, poi qui. Tieni questo e mi devi distrarre i genitori da ragazzino. I've brought what we agreed. Here's a photograph of the fuel depot. Fantastic, Mike. Let's see what you've got there. This is incredible. Those pigs have been storing thousands of gallons of fuel. And all within our reach. With your ID, all we have to do is go into the compound, say hello, boys, and bring it all back here. You've just made me very, very happy, dude. I knew I wasn't wrong about you. Now you have to hold up your end of the bargain. Yes, of course I will, Mike. You know I'm a man of my word. Besides, these are hard times and we have to help one another, dude. I'll get Rod and his wife out of their trailer so you can have a little time alone with the boy. You have my word and my complete discretion. But remember that you promised that we'd do it my way, quietly and with no violence. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I just need your men to distract his parents on some pretext for long enough for me to slip in there, okay? Of course, Mike. You have my word that we'll only do what's necessary. Only what's strictly necessary. Give me a few minutes and then go to the trailer. Everything will be fine when you get there. Okay, but before I go, can I ask you for something else? Today you've been the bearer of the best possible news, dude. So shoot, I'll see what I can do. Ho urgente bisogno di un generatore elettrico. I need an electric generator urgently. Hey, hey, dude, calm down. I think you misinterpreted my offer. Since the great wave, a generator has become worth more than the lives of a hundred people in this camp. Don't think I couldn't get you one, but the price will be so high that I can't imagine how you'd be able to pay me. I'm sorry, Mike. But I just gave you access to thousands of gallons of fuel. But those barrels aren't walking out of that place on their own. My men and I are going to have to risk our hides by going into the lion's den. I'm sorry, but the matter is closed. A quei soldati hanno ucciso una mia amica nelle fogne. Bisogna che tu ti occupi del suo cadavere. Some soldiers murdered a friend of mine in the sewers. I need you to take care of her body. Well, well, well. Murdered in the sewers. And what the hell was your friend doing there? Wait, don't answer. I've heard about that custom among some relatives of the sick. It means she was hiding a dissolved in the sewers. Or am I mistaken? Yes, you're absolutely, totally, <laughs> and completely wrong. I'm not going to tell you what she was doing there. About her commitment to learning the truth, to changing things in the shithole left behind by the great wave, where you move around like a fish in water. You'd be incapable of understanding it. You couldn't even imagine making a sacrifice like that. Even I have a hard time imagining it. It's none of your business. Listen, Mike, you know what I think of those disease carriers and of the people who hide them. For everyone's sake, they all belong in the hands of the cleanup brigades. But you know what? Your intentions are good, giving a friend a decent burial. You're loyal to your friends, and I like that. Above all, you've got to be faithful. Loyalty is everything in this new world. So consider it done. I'll take care of it, dude. Her body is in the sewer tunnel that comes out by the entrance to the camp. Your friend will have a decent resting place. I give you my word. You should be going now. I've got to get the trailer sorted out. Give me a few minutes and then you can go there. Okay? Adios, dude. Okay, this is fatta. Quindi andiamo lì alla roulotte. Vediamo che ci dice il figlio di Willy. Wait a minute. What's that noise? Why is everyone flee? What's going on? The cleanup brigades are coming. And they're heading for Rod's trailer. God damn it! The hunters turned them in! That animal turns Colin and his family in! No, he's not sick. It's a mistake. Don't take him away. It's all a misunderstanding. It's just a question of minutes before those bastards break into the trailer and take the boy. Certo non c'era un altro modo per fare in modo che questi facessero li occupassero in altro modo, insomma non c'era. Non c'era un'altra cosa che i membri della Cleanup Brigade usavano per andare a casa. 
The ambulance's siren is making infernal noise. Good God, it's deafening. Riesco a parlare con ragazzino? Colin called out to me my name. A mess I have, but. Aspetta, vedo da finestra. Now I understand why this window hasn't been cleaned. It gives Rod and his family some privacy without raising suspicions about the boy's illness. Besides, sì, vabbè, l'ho capito. C'è modo, posso rompere qua? Okay, I've got to act fast. The noise the ambulance makes will cover the sound of the glass breaking. In spite of the noise I made breaking the glass and the ambulance's deafening siren, little Colin seems to be asleep or in a trance. Eh, Colin. This cookie box should have a revolver inside with two bullets in it. According to the notebook, it's the one-way ticket out of this new world for Rod and his wife. In case things don't work out for Colin. Beh, no, in teoria ci sono anche dei gomitoli. Eh, posso entrare in qualche modo? Ah, ok, sei riuscito ad entrare, non Colin, so come, però. In spite of the noise I made breaking the glass and the ambulance's deafening siren, little Colin seems to be asleep or in a trance. In spite of the noise I'm little... Eh, questo l'ho capito. Eh, ciccio, me, che ne so, te facciamo una foto. I think it would be too morbid. E niente, la famiglia di Rod non me lo doveva aiutare. Michael, is that you? <laughs> yes, Colin. It's me. But how do you know my name? Emily told me a lot about you. That's how I know you. She gave me a message. She said it was very important that I give it to you. What's all that noise outside, Michael? Where are my parents? It's it's nothing, Colin. Your parents will be back very soon. Don't worry. But it's impossible for you to have spoken to Emily. She she's no longer with us. Yes. Yes, she is. Emily is always with me. When I go down the underground highways, she's there, waiting for me. Emily gave me a message, Michael. She told me it was something very, very important. Dimmi cosa succede in quell'autostrada sotterranea, Colin. Tell me what The highways are very dark, and I don't want to go down there. They're too scary. There's no light, and they're full of ghosts. There are only shadows and voices down there. Everyone seems very sad and angry, and they tell me things I don't want to know. Things I don't even understand. At first, I hid the whole time, so they wouldn't find me. Or I wandered around by myself for hours in the dark, until I met Emily. Now I'm not so afraid of the underground highways, Michael, because she's always there. Dici che Emily si prende cura di te, ma com'è possibile? You say that Emily... She protects me. She keeps me from feeling scared. Because I used to be really scared. I didn't know what was happening to me. I didn't understand anything. But now with Emily by my side, everything is much better. She tells me that what's happening to me is normal, that I'm just sick, but that the sickness will go away soon, and that the pain will go away for good then, that she also got really scared when she got sick. Emily told you that she also got sick? Yes, she told me that she went through this before me, I that a while back she got the same lei. sickness I have. She told me that she felt very lonely too, and that the pain was unbearable. But that it finally ended. And that's why I shouldn't worry. That the pain and the fear will go away. She's very kind to me, Michael. She's very kind to everybody, isn't she? Yes, Colin. Yes, she is. Emily contracted the same disease. No. It can't be. Well, I got Emily? A dissolved? Is that why they didn't let me see your body? Is that the reason for all the secrecy surrounding your death? E quale sarebbe questo messaggio tanto importante che devi darmi? And what is this? She told me that she couldn't come back to be with us, that she will be trapped forever on the underground highways, and that the same thing will happen to me very soon. That's why she asked me to tell you that we're connected, Michael. She told me that you'd understand. We're connected, and it's very important for you to remember that. Connected? What does that mean, Carl? Emily told me there was a thread that no one can see. That joins us to you, and that's why there's still a chance we can be saved. But that only you could do it, while there's still time. She told me that if we're connected, there's still some hope for us all. Can you make everything go back to the way it was, Michael? I don't want to be stuck on the underground highways forever. Can you really make everything go back the way it was, Michael? We're connected? What does that mean? I don't understand anything. This is all crazy. My 
Michael, help me. It hurts so much. Make it stop. Colin, what's happening? Make it stop. Please. Colin! Ah! Ah! My God. I have to get out of here. Ma non è che si è proprio dissolto, si è sciolto. No, non go in there. I beg of you. My son, my son. No, no. Damn it. I can't breathe. If it's true that there's a way to change all this, I have to find it now. I don't think I can stand it any longer. I don't think anyone can. E niente, ci siamo giocati pure Colin. No? Poor Colin. His fate was sealed long before I woke up. Where could Rod and his wife be? Truth is, I'd rather not know the answer. Si staranno andando a ammazzare in qualche modo, credo. Dunque, questa è fatta. Abbiamo parlato con Colin, abbiamo una pistola. Ora la uso contro di voi, mi dovete dare generatore e lasciare no in pace Rose. That pair of ruthless animals have it coming, but the hunter made it clear. If you touch a hair on their heads, you're a dead man. Mm. E quindi quella pistola che ci fa? This revolver still has two bullets in the chamber. The ones Rod and his wife were saving for when Colin passed away. It's possible that by taking it, I've saved their lives. No, si ammazzano in un altro modo. On the other hand, condemn them to go on living. una pistola quindi vediamo un po' se diciamo qualcosa a sto capone perché non è proprio l'accordo che avevamo Hey dude, back already? Nice to see you again around here. Your timing is perfect. So tell me, how did things go with the kid? Ruthless bastard. You called the cleanup brigades. Hey, hey, calm down, Mike. Tone it down, okay? Of course I called the cleanup brigades. What did you expect? I was curious about your interest in the boy, so I did a little investigating on my own. My informants poked around Rod's trailer a little, and they discovered some things. Enough to find out how great a risk that kid and his disease represented to camp safety. These are hard times, and we have to take care of each other, dude. It's our common responsibility. Besides, you already know what I think of those disease carriers. And the fools who protect them, Mike. We agreed that we'd do things my way. We agreed that no one would get hurt. No, dude. You're confused. I promised you I would do only what was strictly necessary to let you talk to the kid alone. And that's what I did. I made sure the soldiers gave you as much time as you needed to do whatever it was you had to do with that boy. Frankly, Mike, I don't understand why you're complaining. You gotta do what you gotta do. Is that it? Of course, Mike. You gotta do what you gotta do. And that's something you already know better than anyone. But now, sit down and have a drink with me. We got things to celebrate. Thanks to the photo you brought us, the plan to get our hands on that fuel at the medical center has been finalized. That depot holds more gasoline than we could ever have imagined in our wildest dreams. We're going over there in a few hours. Hey Michael, today is turning out to be a great day, don't you think? One of the best I can remember. No, I'm not going to drink a toast with you because I don't have anything to celebrate. You're a despicable animal. Hey, watch what you're saying, dude. A pathetic, ignorant bastard. Hey, Garbage from the old world you were so happy to see swept away. Watch out, Mike. I warned you not to disrespect me in my bar in front of my men. Don't keep tempting fate. Are you really offended? You're a vile Eccala. insect with no morals. So God and the devil were good to you, you say. Open your eyes and look around, you paranoid worm, because you're nothing but a violent, drunken, demented psychopath, just like your father. Turn off that music. Turn off that music right now! Listen, Michael. 
There's already been too much commotion in the refugee camp, and more trouble is not in my interest. That's the only thing stopping me from tearing you limb from limb right here and now, and stashing your remains in one of those drums out there. But another word, and you're a dead man. Got it? One more word out of you, and I swear that tomorrow morning they'll find your stinking corpse so tangled up in the barbed wire that they'll have to chop you up to get you out of there. And I don't care where you hide or how far you run, because you know I'll find you in the end. Now get out of my sight. Get out of my sight! Anzi, <laughs> c'è andata pure bene. Pensavo, se invece diamo la pistola a Rose, anche se non so quanto la possa utilizzare, però la possiamo salvare così si può difendere. Hello, Mr. Sleepyhead. Have you come to help us? Spero. I don't know whether who I was before the great wave entitles me to make any kind of moral judgments. But what I do know is that the hunter and his men are a real cancer in this new world, which is the only thing that really counts right now. The girl has a right to defend herself, that bastard said. So someone should give her the chance to do that. It's only fair, right? I can't get you out of here, Rose. I'm sorry. You're the only one that can do it. Thank you. As she was picking up the revolver, she gave me a look of determination that I didn't know she had in her. Rose acted so quickly that I barely saw what happened through the crack in the door of her van. Her hand was steady, even when the second man begged for his life, sobbing and groveling on the floor. The bullet went right through his heart. Blood splattered all over her white dress. And then she let the revolver drop and sat down, lost in her own world. And she didn't do or say anything else, holed up in her tiny, delirious inner landscape. There she had everything she could ever need, safe at last from the new world, which she will probably never return to. Quindi l'abbiamo fatta impazzire completamente? E niente, se non fa più danni che altro, mi sa. There's no point in bothering her. Fortunately for her, Rose isn't here anymore. Ma non penso sia morta, quanto mentalmente non è più qui. Rose, sitting perfectly still and staring eh, off sì. into space. I'm afraid she's gone and she's not coming back. Mm. Non so, noi stiamo facendo veramente danni a tutti comunque, non è che siamo proprio delle bravissime persone, mi sa. So. No, the water turned the generator into an enormous hunk of scrap metal. Why would I want to take it with me in this condition? What the hell? Another one of those repeating images of those damn time loops. No. Rose. No, don't do it. No. It's Rose killing her captors again. But there's something in this one that makes it different. It feels more real and more intense than the other times. No, the wow. Che è cambiato allora? Monete. Seeing the current condition, I doubt it. Ho delle monete. Generatore danneggiato. That's what happens when you bring electrical devices in contact with water. The contents of the water tank made it completely useless. Non c'è un modo per poterlo salvare. Covering it now wouldn't do any good. Ah, lo dovevamo fare prima. Ok, ok. Prima che lei spara. No. Eh, dovrei aspettare che ci sta di nuovo. Il loop These temporale. Of... I'm afraid that like even if that's Ah sì, perché facendo il resto mi sa che non succede niente. Qui c'è Rose, pistola. I'm not going to pick up that revolver. What for? Rose fired the only two bullets left in the chamber. Hmm. Damn it. The con No. Why would Forse se esco e torno, mi rifai il loop temporale? No. Wow. 
No, ma devi fare il loop temporale perché così lo copro. Too late. Covering it now wouldn't do any good. The... These are the remains of the water tower that belonged to the hunter's men. One of Rose's shots pierced the metal, causing all the water mm. to drain okay, out. Ok, ecco come si è rovinato, infatti. Eh, mi ci vuole un loop temporale. C'è un modo per avere questo loop temporale? O devo solo aspettare? Mi pare strano devo aspettare. Eccolo. No. Rose. No, don't do it. No. Sopra uguale, mannaggia la troia. E mo che ci dobbiamo mettere sopra? Damn it. I wasn't able to save it. Solo metà generatore copre. Oddio, mo con cosa lo copriamo? Allora, ci abbiamo delle monetine. There are a few lousy coins. Non valgono molto. Monete. Allora, prova a usare queste qua. Let's see. The coins fit perfectly okay, in the heads of the screws. It'll be no trouble loosening them and taking the fabric with me. Mo, spero basti, eh. E niente, mo dobbiamo riaspettare il loop temporale. Ok, non li posso mettere insieme, quindi dovrò utilizzarli entrambi. No. Wow. Damn it, the con These are the one. E niente, dobbiamo solo aspettare. C'è poco da fare. Eccolo. Quindi, usa questo. No. Rose. No, don't do it. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well First, I'll unplug the cables that connected to the trailer. A posto abbiamo il generatore, quindi possiamo tornare dal tipo del giornale. I brought the generator you need, Chris. Great, Michael. I knew you could do it. Give me a few minutes to set up the computer and open the report. While Chris was getting everything ready, I decided to sit down in one of the armchairs in the office. I was exhausted. My mind had been trying to make sense of the last few hours of my life for what seemed like an eternity. The first hours following my bitter birth in this new world. But how could I judge the new world if I could barely remember the old one? The only thing I was sure of was that we had lost something very valuable along the way. The photograph of our life, overnight, had turned into a dark, blurry, sepia-tinted image. All of civilization had drowned under the great wave, and the only thing left on the beach were its remains. But no, I was fooling myself. I was already lost before the catastrophe. To tell the truth, all the other victims of the Great Wave have been luckier than me. They still dreamed of returning to their lives. Mine had already been broken a long time ago. Did I really stand a chance of recovering something I'd already lost forever? What type of strength 
What type of miracle could ever give me that second chance? Michael, wake up! What's happening? The report, Michael. It's the report. I was going over it while you were sleeping. It's incredible. It's way beyond our expectations. You're gonna think I've gone crazy, but I don't even know where to start. How about at the beginning? Okay. It's the dead synchronicity point. The entire universe is changing, and we're going to witness it. We're going to be witnesses and victims. Witnesses? Victims? But what the hell are you talking about? What is this dead synchronicity point? It's hard to explain. You're a photographer, so I'll try this analogy. Imagine a person's life chronicled in photographs. Up to now, and according to the rules that governed our universe, we were all subject to certain very specific temporal rules. Past, present, and future. That's all there was to it. So, the first thing we'd find would be a photo of the person as a newborn, then another on the person's sixth birthday, then another in college, and so on. Then we'd see photos of the person's wedding, children, old age, death, all in logical, linear, chronological order. Since our universe is conceived along a single line that starts in the past, makes a stopover in the present, and then projects into the future. Do you follow me? Yes, of course I follow you. Well, imagine now that this entire temporal architecture crumbles, falls apart, dissolves. Imagine that something or someone has altered the foundations of our universe, changing the rules of the game, forever annihilating our idea of time, the concepts of past, present, and future. Well, I think you just lost me, Chris. Then let me continue with the metaphor of the photographs. Imagine now that a card dealer takes all these snapshots that sum up the life of this person, shuffles them, and places them in a stack in one spot on the card table. What would we have then? There would no longer be a chronological line, Michael. There would be no past, present, or future. Each of the individual events captured in these photographs, they would all be happening simultaneously at the exact same point in time. And that point we would call... The dead synchronicity point. Exactly. Now our world is abandoning its old physical laws and getting closer to that dead synchronicity point where time no longer exists. And therefore, all the phenomena and events that happened or will happen in the universe will start to be stacked on top of other ones, like the photographs in the dealer's deck. That sounds crazy. How credible do you think this report is? Completely, Michael. The dead synchronicity point is a fact, and the worst thing is that we're approaching it faster and faster. It'll only be a matter of days, at best maybe a few weeks, before the universe enters this new state. Time is ending, in every sense. And what does all this have to do with us? Come on, do you still not see it? This change in the architecture of the universe, this nullification of time, is the real origin of the Great Wave, the dissolved, and the emergence of the new world. Quindi la grande onda sarebbe stata causata da questo avvicinamento al punto di sincronia so, morta. The great wave... Yes, Michael. The Great Wave was the first manifestation of our universe's approach to the dead synchronicity point. That's why the catastrophe struck at the same time all over the planet. It wasn't just a local occurrence, it had global dimensions. It was the first clear and obvious sign that something was going wrong, and it brought chaos and misery to the world, as you've been seeing yourself since you woke up. E cosa diavolo c'entrano i dissolti con tutto questo? What the hell do the dissolved have to do with all this? According to the report, the dissolved are still a big mystery. There isn't much information about them or their disease. What we do know is that they are people who are especially sensitive to the dead synchronicity point, and that is what's so tragic about them. Especially sensitive? Of course. This transformation, this radical and overwhelming change in the basic structure of the universe is totally incompatible with human life. We're condemned to die, Michael. Each and every one of us. That's terrible. 
How can you be so sure of that? If you think about it rationally, it's obvious. Our bodies are the product of hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, of a gradual and precarious adaptation to the environment, the universe, and its physical laws. Reaching the dead synchronicity point, the annihilation of time, we'd need another hundred thousand years to adapt to such a drastic change. And what do you think will happen to the human race, to each and every one of us when this process concludes? I'll tell you. Our primary metabolism will go into a state of shock. Our entire cell structure will be jolted so profoundly and so violently that what we now call our bodies will lose all coherence, leaving behind just a brown puddle as evidence of our existence. We'll dissolve like those poor sick people. Indeed. According to the report, the dissolved are simply pioneers, people who are ahead of their time the vanguard of the human race in its final extinction. That's why some cases started cropping up so early, even before the Great Wave. Their illness was the harbinger of the enormous explosion that was to follow. It preceded it by hours, even days. And that's why the cases are multiplying exponentially as we get closer to the end. Do you understand? We'll all end up turning into dissolved. L'ultima volta che abbiamo parlato mi dicesti che poteva esserci una soluzione, un modo per rovesciare tutta questa follia. Yes, and yeah, that's the best part of the report. Theoretically, Michael, and paradoxical as it may sound, our progress toward the dead synchronicity point also brings the opportunity to change things, to turn the process around and return to where we were before our world collapsed. And how would that be possible? By penetrating the very center of the anomaly the deepest nucleus of dead synchronicity and arriving at the point where time is just starting to fold back into itself before the process is completed. If, inside the dead synchronicity point, each and every one of the events that have happened or will happen in the universe unfold, then surely it must be possible to gain access to the moment when something or someone triggered the catastrophe and stop it. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You're talking about time travel. Yes. I'm talking about the possibility of accessing the past to save our present and our future. Of turning the great wave and all its consequences into a mere nightmare that never actually happened. The report talks about the hypothetical existence of a door leading into the very heart of the dead synchronicity point. A door to each and every one of the snapshots of the past, present, and future of our universe. And if, through that door, we had a chance to access the precise instant when everything went haywire, then we might be able to change things. Michael, that's what we've got to focus on in whatever time we have left. But I have to continue studying this report. I'm sure there are more answers in it. And you have got to help me. You're telling me that the dead synchronicity point is the origin of all this chaos? That our only chance of salvation is a theoretical journey to the past? Or sooner or later we'll all be obliterated? Like those poor dissolved? That's right, Michael. So we'd better get to work on it as soon as possible. By the way, the report also mentions another very interesting thing about the dissolved. What is it? It seems that in their trances, through their trips to the underground highways, the sick form a strange relationship with each other. It's as if the disease unites them, regardless of any physical distance that might separate them. The report is very unclear on this point, but it seems as if the dissolved are somehow linked, connected. My god. That can't be. Remember. Please, remember. Everything fits now. Everything makes sense. Please. Enough. My head. Emily asked me to tell you that we're connected, Michael. We're connected. Michael, what's going on? Chris, get one of those tests ready. Fast. But what for? You don't think that you're also... Do as I say. Okay. Give me your hand.
sick. You're a dissolved. No. That can't be. No. No. Michael. Michael. Wake up. Emily? Emily. Is that you? Please, Michael, wake up. Wake up. Is that really you? Where, where am I? Yes, Michael. It's me. You are... on the underground highways. E niente ragazzi, questo gioco è fantastico, questo finale è bellissimo, io mi ricordo quando ci ho giocato la prima volta sono rimasta, oddio che figo! Purtroppo ancora non è mai uscito un seguito, io spero con tutto il cuore che prima o poi uscirà, non voglio perdere la speranza anche se sono passati un bel po' di anni, ma voglio crederci perché se lo merita, cioè non mi puoi finire il gioco con tutte queste cose, con le spiegazioni, con i... anche lui è un dissolto, è collegato, il viaggio nel tempo, il tempo sta per finire, l'essere umano non può vivere senza il tempo, cioè tutte queste cose me le metti insieme e poi non mi fai un seguito, no vabbè non si può, <ride> sarebbe da mandare tutti in email a questi e dire oh che sta da fare, aspettiamo il seguito, cioè una storia è venuta così bene, perché cavolo ancora non hanno fatto il seguito? Penso che non è che non sappiano dove andare a parare, mi sembra che già sanno come continuare la situazione, insomma. Quindi non, non si è spiegato perché non l'hanno fatto ancora. Speriamo lo faranno. Comunque sono contenta di averlo giocato con voi sul canale, uno perché hanno tanti anni che, che l'ho fatto e quindi non me lo ricordavo tutto benissimo. Tante cose non me le ricordavo proprio. E però sono contenta di aver condiviso con voi questa storia perché merita tanto è proprio un bel gioco un'avventura grafica degna con una bella sceneggiatura e non una cosa trita e ritrita di quelle che a una certa stufano anche <ride> quindi molto bella io spero tanto che prima o poi faranno questo seguito ovviamente aspetto i vostri commenti sia sul finale sia sul gioco in generale insomma e se volete anche voi il seguito, state rosicando che ancora non sia uscito, fatemi sapere nei commenti. Comunque, vediamo se c'è qualcosa dopo i titoli. No, pare non ci sia niente dopo i titoli. Va bene ragazzi, dai, grazie mille di aver seguito anche questa serie. Mi raccomando, come sempre, mettete un mi piace, lasciate un commento, iscrivetevi al canale. Vi aspetto anche su Telegram e al prossimo gioco. Alla prossima, ciao ciao!